So my internet speeds here at the office are actually pretty good. I have fiber internet provided by AT&T, so I'm getting roughly a gig both ways when I'm wired and maybe half that when I'm on Wi-Fi. So not too bad, but like most tech enthusiasts, just because things are going well and performance is good doesn't mean it can't be better, which is why today I am potentially going to upgrade my office network system for the very first time by adding a router to the existing configuration. This is the existing configuration. This is what a professional YouTuber is using right now, somewhere in the world. It's just, it's an ISP provided modem from AT&T, no router connected, pretty, pretty sad and depressing. Also, I haven't dusted it probably since the day I moved in here, disgusting. I know. So today we're going to try changing that and I've called upon the help of my friends at Asus. They've actually sent over two routers. I don't know why they sent me two routers. I only asked for one, but they sent me two. I guess I have options now. So we can decide by the end of the video which one I'm going to use. Hey, hey, hey there. Past Kyle. Um, future Kyle here. Remember, I'm slightly less stupid than you. So you're actually giving away one of these routers to a lucky viewer. That's why Asus sent you two of them. Guys, I, I'm sorry for past Kyle. He's a little slow. If you want a chance to win one of these routers, just click the link in the description below for more details on how to enter. Okay, back to you, past Kyle. Oh, and, and try not to break anything today. I know that's really hard for you. Well, let me just, let me fix the lighting here. This is all very well planned out. So we've got two different routers here. The RX, the R, I almost said RTX. This is the RTAX82U, and over here we've got the RTAX86U. Very similar in spec, but as you might notice, these are both Gundam themed, Gundam style. Gundam style. Oh. These are Gundam themed routers. I thought the day would never come. I guess there's a first for everything. These models of routers have actually been on the market for a while, but now they've been Gundamized, if you know, for lack of a better term, I'm just making stuff up here. Asus has this weird brand collaboration going on with uh, with the Gundam people, the Gundam company, what, whatever. You might've seen some Gundam themed PC parts flying around the internet too, like motherboards and stuff like that. And uh, you know, these models have actually been on the market for a while, but this is the first time they've, they've gotten the Gundam treatment. Of course, nothing about the actual models of routers have changed, it's literally just in a aesthetic change. They are both dual band Wi-Fi 6 802.11 AX routers, 5400 megabits per second and 5700 megabits per second speeds respectively with the uh, 160 hertz channels. They both have a 2.5 gigabits per second port that is wired of course with packet prioritization for gaming which is really nice. There's also a mobile gaming mode that you can enable within the Asus router app to instantly reduce lag and latency if you're playing mobile games which I don't know if you're if you're next to a router that means you're also next to a PC right so why aren't you just gaming on the computer? Like put, put your phone away. They also support AI mesh. So if you wanted to set these up in an AI mesh network, you could use these either as a primary or a node router. You could even use these two together because they both support it. So we can set up an, a mesh network here in the office, but my office isn't too big. So probably not a, a huge need for that. You also get plenty of home security features, you know, WPA3, you get free lifetime ASUS AI Protect Pro, advanced parental controls and all that jazz. But most importantly, these look like Gundams. And I, I kind of want to see what they look like. I haven't actually seen one of these in person yet. So let's open the box and take a close look. All right, here are the routers, powered up. They're all powered up. Uh, I have not set them up yet. They're not configured whatsoever. They just have power going to them right now. And let me just quickly go over one of them at a time. So let's start with this one. This is the RTAX82U, which kind of takes after the, like it looks like the Wing Zero Gundam, kind of looks like that sort of design, that, that color scheme and aesthetic. Uh, you can see there's RGB lighting right here, which can be controlled with this yellow button here. You press it, it cycles through a bunch of different modes. Uh, there's not a whole lot of modes, but you know, it's a router, you probably don't need it to be too fancy. The lighting looks good, you know, it's not gonna blow you away or anything. It's not like the brightest or most vibrant LEDs I've seen, but it definitely adds a lot more flair than most routers have. LED indicators on the left lets you know if you're connected to broadband, if you're getting Wi-Fi and stuff like that. I think it's a little odd that they're way off to the left here. It just makes it a little more difficult to see them at a glance if you're just like looking over at your router. It's like, oh wait, gotta go, gotta go way over here. Hmm, is everything, everything looking good, guys? Everything looking good, boys? Okay, cool. So it's just a little bit uh, out of the way, especially because it's sort of slanted on the edge edge here, so it's kind of facing away from you, but just a little nitpick there. EFSF, some more design stuff. Earth Federation Space Force is what that stands for, which uh, I obviously knew before shooting this video. <clears throat> hardcore, hardcore Gundam fan here. Uh, we also have some stuff right here that, I don't know, Lyle could probably read, but not me. We've got a backside with WPS button reset. There's your WAN port. We have four LAN ports with the dedicated gaming port that I mentioned with packet prioritization. Very nice. One USB 3.0 port if you wanted to like have some network attached storage here, power switch and uh, the power cable, of course. We have four antennas, they are adjustable. I don't believe they're detachable though. It looks like they're pretty fixed 
uh, to the back here. I think uh, I think they're not meant to be removed, but you can adjust them. Let's move over to the 8.6U over here, which is based off of the Zaku 2 Gundam. You also have, well, you have three antennas on this one, but there's also a, a fourth antenna that's internal. I like the positioning of these LED indicators much more than on the other one. Much easier to see and stuff. It obviously has a red aesthetic, just like the Zaku 2, and some ventilation at the top there, Asus branding. Looks pretty nice. I actually like the way that this one is kind of like a, it's in a standing position. This one's kind of like laying down. This one's standing, so I guess maybe that will, will factor into your purchasing decision if uh, one speaks to you more than the other. And then, uh, oh, one thing that I, I wish that these routers could do is uh, get mounted to the wall. I think for something like this, some people might want to display it in a more creative way, or just, it's just handy to be able to mount stuff to the wall sometimes, but there's no actual way to do that. These are just kind of standalone on, on a desk or flat surface type of routers. Just something to point out there, WPS button on that side. This is an LED button, which can uh, actually disable these LEDs if you don't want them showing for whatever reason. We have our four LAN ports here, dedicated gaming port, WAN port, there's our 2.5 gigabit per second port, two USB 3.0 ports, reset and power switch, lots of ventilation on the back side. It's also worth mentioning that the quality of these routers is pretty good. It's like, you know, plastic body and stuff. It's nothing fancy. These aren't like super expensive routers. I think they're well well under 300, either $300 or less, but the quality is pretty good. The finish on, on these is, is really nice. The white print on this red painted body looks really clean. It actually looks a lot better in person than it did uh, in any of the photos online and stuff. Uh, this one looks good too, just not quite as much detail going on. But why don't we set these guys up and we'll run some tests. I've already ran tests on my modem, on my, my crappy AT&T modem. Let me actually get the results for you right up here. Okay, I got my wired speeds pulled up here, but just for the record, really quick, uh, this is being tested on my wall-mounted PC featuring a Ryzen 9 5950X and a Radeon RX 6900 XT. So what do we get? On the wired test, we got 930 down and roughly 905 up. So that's the score to beat. And then for the wireless test, or yeah, Wi-Fi test, uh, let's do... Let's just go right here. Let's just go. Let's just go to town right here. Okay, four, this is doing on my phone. I'm gonna be testing this the exact same way on the Gundam routers. And it looks like, not too bad, 456 down. And 467 up. So that's the main question I wanna to answer today is, can these Asus routers at least match, if not top the performance uh, and speeds of my little ISP AT&T modem up there? And if it can, if they can, I'll choose the one that's faster, the one that I like more at the end of the day, and I will be adding that to the network configuration, my network setup up there, and it will be my first official office network upgrade, as, as minute as it might be. I'm still excited to see what kind of speeds these things pump out. So let me set them up and I'll be right back. No, I'm sorry. I'm just, I just felt so majestic standing up here. I'm usually not this tall. But uh, router installation for this guy went very quick and easy. I installed it in about two minutes. There was a firmware update that took three minutes. So the firmware update took longer than it took me to actually set this all up and get it working properly. Just a complete breeze. Absolute no-brainer. A baby could do it. No, don't let your baby try that at home. So let's just take a careful step down here. Run back to our testing system. All right, so I just got uh, our old results from, from the ISP or the AT&T modem pulled up here. So just to recap, 930 and 904 for our wired speeds. And then for Wi-Fi, it was 556 down and 467 up. So now we're gonna do the same exact tests, but this time with the Gundam router. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens. We're gonna start with the wired test. We are connected to the ethernet right now. Go, 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 go. 930 is the score to beat. And it looks like we're just there. Oh, exactly. Oh, we, we are point seven megabits per second faster on the download. Upload speed, we need to beat 904.8, which we did not beat. We, we kind of went down a little bit on the upload speed. Uh, so pretty much the same, same exact, uh, you know, more or less the same download and upload looks a little bit lower, but you know, there's, there's tons of like variants here based on a number of factors. I'm just gonna run the test again, just to see, just to see if anything changes. I should have probably run, I should have probably run these tests like multiple times, right? Instead of just doing once, ah, that's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Going back here though, uh, 920 and our upload speed actually improved. So it's, it's definitely all over the place. Now we're getting higher upload speeds, 907.8 versus 904.8. Uh, so, I mean, more or less, it looks like the wired speed haven't really changed all that much uh, from using this router, which I guess you wouldn't really expect it to nearly as much as the Wi-Fi speed. So let's actually try that out right 
Meow. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Damn, son. 578 down. 500. That's. That's some pretty big gains. 456 to 578. And then our upload speed is pretty much the same. 462.8, 467.5. Yeah, that's more or less the same. But those download speeds have improved drastically. Not that I need that much faster download speeds on my Wi-Fi, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have that extra bump. Let's just do this one more time just to see if it's a repeatable thing. And it definitely looks like it is. Holy crap. Holy crap, it broke 600. 622, my good. Oh, okay, now the upload speed's going crazy. Upload speeds is freaking what? 548, 467 to 548. These gains though, these gains, bro. If you're looking at uh, one of these Gundam routers and you're looking for wired improvement over your ISP modem, maybe not gonna have as much uplift as you're hoping. But if you're looking for faster Wi-Fi speeds, both on the up and down side, holy bajabus, that's that's definitely in the cards here. Uh, so far, I am I'm definitely I'm definitely considering keeping that router there, assuming that this one doesn't do better. Let's try it out. All right. Zaku 2 router is set up. Setup was just as easy as it was for the Wing Zero model. And we are ready to go again. So let's just jump right into it. I've got it all set up here. I've got it all laid out so you can see AT&T modem alone. This is with our Wing Zero, the uh, RTAX82U. And this will be our Zaku 2. And we're off to a pretty good start. Already topping both the modem and the Wing Zero unit. Hot diggity damn. 925, okay, it was actually a little higher at first than it went down at the last minute. Upload speed, just a tick higher at 915 up. So why don't we do it the same service? It's only fair if we run this test one more time like we did with uh, with the, uh, the Wing Zero unit. So let's just do it one more time, see what we get. Will it hit 920? Nope, 915, so a little lower that time. And upload speed's looking to be... Okay, kind of kind of botched that run. Kind of kind of didn't do great on that run. And again, we shouldn't expect to see a ton of variance between these various routers and modems uh, when we're talking about wired connections. Where the difference really comes into play is with the wireless results. So again, um, our, our Wing Zero unit, the RT AX82U, is just absolutely crushing the uh, the AT&T modem. Let's see how the Zaku 2 does. So if it wants to beat its uh, other Gundam brother, its Gundam brother's gonna have to beat 622, which uh, didn't quite get there, 606.9, hey -oh. And then upload speed is 521.8 versus 548.4. So right now, Wing Zero is uh, taking a bit of a lead there over the Zaku 2. We're gonna run this test one more time. All right, download speeds at 592.9, still a little under the uh, Wing Zero there. Doesn't look like upload speed's gonna catch up to it either, so at 503.6. Wing Zero's our winner, man. I'm, I'm going with the Wing Zero. Uh, it just totally smoked the AT&T modem and definitely beat out uh, the uh, the Zaku 2. So I think this is the router I'm gonna be sticking with. And this is this is a really nice bump. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much on this system because I'm just hardwired all the time, but a lot of other devices in this office are on Wi-Fi. Let's see, I do a lot of downloading on this one, like downloading drivers and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so dark, hold on. Like I just have an Intel Nook here, Skull Canyon Nook or whatever. I download drivers and other large files on this thing all the time and that's that's just a Wi-Fi system, so that's gonna come in handy. It's gonna come in handy for systems like that. It's gonna come in handy for uh, the, the editing base system that's currently on Wi-Fi over there. So this is actually a pretty good upgrade for me. Now, to be fair, it's worth noting that the Zaku 2 did outperform the, the AT&T modem by a long shot as well. It's just that the Wing Zero model just outperformed that one. So I'm gonna stick with this one. I'm, I'm going, this is this is the winner. It must, be, it must be the RGB. I'm guessing it's the RGB. That's what made it faster in the end. It makes perfect sense, science and stuff. But hey, thank Thanks ASUS for making my Wi-Fi a lot faster. Uh, you didn't really help my, my wired speeds all that much, but there's a lot of cool features on that router that uh, the AT&T modem doesn't even have, like all the ones that I already mentioned. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, toss a like. If you have any questions about the routers, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll try to get around to answering all the ones that I can. Till next time, subscribe for more tech content on the way, and I will see you guys in the next video.